Hello, everyone. Today's session two, and it's called Imitate Christ. When we live our lives following the example of Christ, we are fundamentally changed as people. As a group, we always work to comp compose a story of our lives. So we, in today's uh, Bible lesson, Paul tells us to watch out for what is better for others. Would you, this advice have changed the way you wrote your part in the story? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, hearing familiar scriptures in a new way can inspire us to think about them differently. Now, I'll read this scripture aloud. And in today's Bible lesson, you will repeat them after me if you want and pay attention to any verse or phrase. So get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and write the word that stands out to you, okay? And ask, to, uh, you can underline the words and the scripture that catches your attention, okay? This is Philippines, Philippians 2, verses 1 through 11. Therefore, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort in love, any sharing in the spirit, any sympathy, complete my joy by thinking the same way, having the same love, being united and agreeing with each other. Don't do anything for selfish purposes, but with humility, think of others as better than yourself. Instead of each person watching out for their own good, watch out for what is better for others. Adopt the attitude that was in Jesus Christ. Though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit. But he emptied himself by taking the form of a slave and by becoming like human beings. When he found himself in the form of a human, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God highly honored him and gave him a name above all names, so that at the name of Jesus, everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth might bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Okay, now I'm going to read it again. Repeat after me. Now, as you read this Bible lesson, underline the parts again. Okay, here we go. Therefore, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort in love, any sharing in the spirit, any sympathy, complete my joy by thinking the same way, having the same love, being united and agreeing with each other. Don't do anything for selfish purposes, but with humility, think of others as better than yourselves. Instead of each person watching out for their own good, watch out for what is better for others. Adopt the attitude that was in Jesus Christ. Though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit, but he emptied himself by taking the form of a slave and by becoming like human beings. When he found himself in the form of a human, he humbled himself by becoming the obedient to the point of death. Therefore, God highly honored him and gave him a name above all names, so that at the same time, the name of Jesus, everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth might bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the God, the Father. Now, we can use this, um, let's see, You already underlined it and you get the scripture. So I will just read this part right here while you guys are meditating and trying to get your words. This is about was the Wesleyan activity, the explanatory notes. John Wesley, he wrote about nearly every verse in the Bible. Did you know that? This collection of comments is called his explanatory notes and provides insight into Wesley's interpretation of scripture. It also can guide personal Bible study. Now, Wesley wrote about why the word form was used instead of another word. He eventually reasoned that the word form expresses an absolute idea, something concrete and real, and while other words would have left from the ambiguity. When you read this verse, what was the first of your thoughts? How do you interpret the words? 
the scripture parts they underlined earlier and the copy of the space provided, okay? Crayons, get a, another piece of paper, maybe a drawing or a painting, uh, a canvas. I would invite, invite you to color this around and space in words of creativity as possible. Ask, I'm asking you to express how you chosen words or text from the scripture I just read earlier that makes you feel through your design. You will create and tell why you chose a particular design. But I have some copies here because I'm not an artist. And like I said, I just, these are pretty cool. This is one verse. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? He will come to us like, like rain. That's one of the verses. Isn't that pretty? They drew, uh, they painted some pretty flowers and some pictures there. Let's see of another one. With God, all things are possible. Look at that one. That one's a pretty cool one. I know it's backwards, but they drew some pretty flowers around that one. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Look at that one. That one's beautiful. So this is like an example of you guys. You don't have to be this perfect, of course, to draw a picture of one of the verses that, you, that, that I've just read out loud, okay? How is artistic... How is artistic expression a way to imitate God and Christ? And how is God creative in the world? What are some other ways we can imitate Christ by bringing love, joy, and beauty into the world? Okay? Now, you can do this this evening or anytime you want. I know this is like a lot of work for you guys to draw or paint or whatever. So now at the end, we would like you to sit still, maybe cross your legs together and breathe in slowly. Then exhale, continue focusing on your breathing. By breathing slowly and deliberately, argon is a type of gas in our air. This gas is not consumed or changed when we inhale it. We breathe in argon and breathe it out at the same form. In some ways, we breathe the same air as those who come came before us. Think about this as you breathe. Oh, and also think about what it means to imitate Christ in our life, okay? What are some ways you can remind yourself to imitate Christ? And then you close your eyes, then we pray. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, I didn't have any.